A judge in the United States has lifted a temporary restraining order that had stopped the U.S. military from force-feeding a hunger-striking prisoner at Guantanamo Bay. A number of inmates are refusing food in protest at their continued detention. It comes as human rights activists worldwide take to the streets to protest against the facility. The protests come exactly a year after President Obama's latest pledge to close Guantanamo. The protesters agreeing with the president that the facility acts as a recruitment tool for extremists. But what to do with the 154 men who remain there is a stumbling block. Some cannot be sent home because they might be tortured. Others can't be tried because the evidence against them was obtained under torture. It's a situation that exasperates those calling for its closure. They are desperate to get out of there. You know, you either charge them or let them go. This situation is simply unacceptable. It's absolutely horrendous what's still going on there. It's not over. It is not over for those men. They still endure conditions and treatment that amount to torture. Alicia Brooks is a human rights lawyer whose interest in Guantanamo was sparked by the man who became her husband. So there was a lot of medical experimentation in Guantanamo. Former Guantanamo inmate David Hicks recounting his experiences of the notorious facility at an event today in Sydney. There's a lot of detainees who, I mean, I don't know if they're still there today, but I know that upon their release they wouldn't be able to function anymore. They're so far gone psychologically. As well as campaigning to close Guantanamo down, Alicia is leading the charge to have her husband's conviction quashed. David's got an, a conviction from a system that President Obama himself called fatally flawed. That's why he had to replace the 2006 Military Commissions Act with a 2009 Act. So justice was certainly not uh, obtained in his case. Alicia has launched legal action both here and in the United States in an attempt to get documents released, which she says would show political interference in his case between the then Australian and American governments. This goes much further than David Hicks. This is not about him, really. This is about the implementation of the rule of law. This is about the Australian government's obligation to protect its citizens from torture. She says Australia should follow the lead of Britain, which launched an independent inquiry into what its officials knew about the alleged mistreatment of those detained in Guantanamo. Brian Thompson, SBS World News.